Subscribe to Roots 10 Gaming before the 15th of December for your chance to win this Araman figure. Welcome to Roots 10 Gaming, and this is Zone Mortalis. Hi right there guys, so we're going to be playing a narrative style game today in a Zone Mortalis setting. We've got Crimson Fist Space Marines versus Eldar of the Yemlock, Yemlock uh, Craft World. Never heard of them before. <laughs> uh, we've got, we're using some open play cards to show, sort out the deployment. So we've got a deployment like this. I'm going to be player B and uh, Grange is going to be player A. So it's going to be in the nice short corners. And we've also got the take and hold mission. Which basically means that we need to have one objective in the centre of the battlefield and then two objectives uh, basically in each other's uh, deployment zone. Score one victory point per turn, uh, per player turn that is, and uh, score three victory points at the end of turn five if we hold the objectives. Right, let's take you to uh, some armies. Uh, so Grange is back on the channel. You alright there Grange, normally a long campaigner with me, unfortunately for him. Uh, what we're rocking today, then, good sir? Right, a thousand points worth of Eldar. Yep. So, HQ choices. I've gone for a spot of Camerandras. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. And that figure really needs to be updated, because I think I collected that when I was, like, ten. So... <laughs> uh, then we've got a Farseer. Yep. Yeah. He's, uh... Well, a Farseer. A Farseer. So, seen so, singing spear. What, what uh, psychic powers is he going to have? He's going to have Executioner yeah. and Guide. Nah, right. And then my wall is going to be the attack. Yeah. And he's again virtue, fusion pistol, power sword, and he's going to have the phoenix gem and ambush of blades for yeah. his wall odd trait. No problem. So you got the phoenix gem as your uh, as your yeah that thing yeah. <laughs> relic. That's yeah. It. Words, Fran. Words. 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 Yeah. Right. So what we're rocking? Uh, uh, then squad -wise? four troops choices. Yep. Two squads of dire avengers. Yep. Uh, with a, those are some old school figures yeah, as well. Very. Then. Uh, with an exarch with a sh dire sword and shuriken yeah. pistol, and then two units of ten guardians. Yep. No heavy weapons, just the guardians. Squad fillers. Yeah. And then we've got eight striking scorpions. Yep. Uh, with an exarch with scorpion fist. Yeah, I don't see a point in taking the biting blade personally, but. No. Uh, it's and a, then it's seven fire dragons. <sighs> That's gonna hurt. If it shoots. <laughs> yeah. Well. 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 We are going against crimson fist marines. Right, so not a bad little thousand points of uh, Aladari slash Eldar. Slash Amlock. Slash Liamlock slash. It's got to be Eldar, can't be Eldar. Can't, can't be Eldar. Too old. I'm too, too old, old. yeah. Too old, too old and green to... to have anything else. Yeah. Uh, right, let's take you over to the Crimson Fists. So this is 1,000 points of Crimson Fist to go into the Zone Mortalis. We are rocking. I'll move him out of the way. <laughs> Stand up. We are rocking a captain with a power fist and, of course, the mastercrafted bolter. Uh, the power fist is going to be my relic, which is going to be the um, I can't, I can't, fist of vengeance, I think it's called, which is basically a, a thunder hammer without a minus one to hit. That's the best way of putting it. Back him, uh, backing him up is a librarian. He's uh, got Might of Heroes, Smite and Psychic Scourge. And, of course, he's got a force staff and a pistol. Uh, we've got a Primaris Lieutenant, converted figure. Uh, he's got a power sword and a bolt pistol. Primaris uh, Apothecary. This is my figure that I actually bought from New York when I was on holiday. Yes, we did find a games workshop in New York and bought a figure from it. I am that sad. <laughs> and a kitbashed converted banner. Uh, so this is going to be uh, a sacred standard. Well, it's just a standard ancient, but I'm going to take spend a command point out of my lustrous eight because I've got a battalion. So I'm going to spend a command point to actually give him the special banner that comes with um, that comes out of the relic section. I'll find that out in a moment what it's called. Right, we're rocking two squads of five primary intercessors, all this with standard bolt rifles. The other troop choices is two squads of scouts, one rocking bolters and a heavy bolter, the other one rocking close combat. There's still a heavy bolter in that and a power fist, and then a unit of five reavers. And to back everybody up. A Venerable Dreadnought, which has got scratches and marks. It's actually a really old uh, Space Wolf Dread, the uh, original, uh, I believe it was Jean Raphael handed model, which I've kind of scratched up, dinted up, and uh, just made sure that I can use him in my Crimson Fist army. Right, so, 
that's it for the Crimsons. Uh, we're going to get set up and we'll take you to see who's going to try and get first turn. Right, so we've deployed. Uh, I've got a good chunk of Crimson Fist coming up here. Another scout's trying to hold on to my objective. We've changed the rules regarding the objective. The objective stated had to be 12 inches away from any table edges, but we found out that because of a deployment zone, Grange couldn't actually put his objective in. Uh, so his objective is down here, protected by a squad of Guardians. We've got a squad of Dire Avengers, Fire Dragons plus Exha up this side. Uh, his Karandras plus his buddies, they're in reserve. That's going to be difficult for me on turn two. Some more guys down here near the crates. Farsi on his own. Okay, and another, um, another Dire Avenger down later. here. <laughs> and we, Mills has joined us, unfortunately for me. <laughs> uh, <so laughs> It's going to be difficult to turn to after I table him. <laughs> Radio. <laughs> right. And of course my dread here oh. backing everything up. Uh, we're going to roll to see who gets first turn. You got down first. Minuses, 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 minuses. Dreadnought. Dreadnought, minuses, yeah. Minuses. There's only two scout squads that ain't got, my, ain't got negative modifiers. Yeah. Some of the bolt pistols and that for these guys don't have negative modifiers. Oh, bolt pistols. And bolt pistols That's, for these guys. That don't is have clearly modifiers. the reason why you've brought captains and sergeants. Yes, of course it is. Of course it is. They're yes. bolt pistol. Not the rules that they buff the army with. Oh, I'm going to reroll ones. <laughs> right. No cover. Go on then, Grange. <laughs> only I'm, I'm I just, benefit from. I'm just going to get this uh, whole game. Who invited it? Who invited it? <laughs> <laughs> Four makes a five. Makes a five. Yeah, I'm on your side, Green. Nope. Do I seize? No. no. Right. So the Elder are <laughs> going to go first. Let's let them get their movement out of the way and we'll come back in the psychic and shoot him. Okay, we're going into the psychic phase. We've done one power by accident because we forgot to turn the camera on. Uh, so that unit there has been guided. I've tried to nullify it and I failed. Uh, so they're now going to get re-rolls to hit. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we'll start with me giddy the unit. Yep. And we're going to be firing at the Reavers. No problem. So freeze to hit with re-rolls. So, I've got those at the minute. Just the two misses. And he's going to need fours. Any sixes we need to put aside. One six and three wounds. So against the six, I need a six. Nope. Um, and the three normal wounds, I need threes. So just a wound on the unit. So two guardians from that squad are opening fire into these uh, guys as well. It's going to be four shots. Ooh, they've all hit. We've got a six and a five. So against the six, I need a six. Yep, yep and then against the other one I need a three. Yep, that's two sixes, way. Use them, um, using them up now, yep, so managed to save. Have we got any more? Yeah, definitely, we've got yeah, these guys here that can open fire. So these are going to be the fire. Fire dragons, oh, I think they're going to turn them uh, scouts into liquid Mist. paste. <laughs> right, what's firing next then? Uh, Dire Avengers are going to fire into the This unit of intercessors yes. here, no problem. I think you've dropped that dice. Freeze to hit uh, is within six inch of the uh, autax. I guess the reroll ones. It's something I normally don't benefit from because being bell tan. So we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one six. And then and three, three wounds. wounds. Four wounds. Four wounds. So the six. I didn't save, so I suffered a wound. And then the four. So I actually lose one and a half marines. The unit is within six inch of a standard. So we'll have him go down. And on a three plus, he gets to shoot before he dies. Yep, I got a five. So definitely going to fire into them. Within 15 inches, two shots, two hits, one wound. Oh no, two, two wounds because you're out there. Yep, two wounds with a minus one, sir. And two of those guys go down. This doesn't seem fair somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I need a wound on the unit as well. Yeah. Right, and uh, now the fire dragons. Yeah, the this is just going to turn me into uh, liquid. How many fire dragons do you have there? Uh, uh, I can see. You can see. 
I think there's just one that can't. Yeah, I don't know. You've got five, haven't you? I've got six, including you. Oh, yeah. No. Um, Rerolling ones because your proximity to the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hit. And then you're going to need twos. That's four dead. That it. How many's in the squad? <laughs> Five. Right. I'm going to use a command point. Oh! Reroll that one. Oh! oh no! Why? Why? <laughs> That's because. You turn it and we roll that one. Oh, everything about it screamed confidence. Yeah, yeah, it did. Too much confidence there, mate. Too much confidence. <sighs> I think that's my shooting phase. Uh, yeah. And uh, you ran with a lot of units, didn't you? So, yeah. yeah, it was very underwhelming, that, mate. I think some pain's going to be coming your way on this one here. Yeah. Right, we'll take it into Crimson Fist turn one. Oh. I forgot about my morale. Uh, leadership is eight. Lost four. He's fine. Oh, he's, he's safe. They lost two. They're going to be all right because their leadership's eight anyway. So, so right. So yeah, comes in first turn one. Right onto the psychic phase. I've moved several units up. Hopefully, I'm going to turn some of these guys into liquid paste. I'm still worried about those. Really? But, well, fire dragons can kill these primaris marines quite easy. Not if there's none, none alive. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to try and work one down first. Um, it's not going to be. Reavers have moved up. We've che I've checked line of sight for the. Well, I've checked line for him. Um, he's going to use his smite. Smite is the closest visible enemy unit, which is these guys. So I'm going to smite those to start with. And I've got a nine. Okay. Are you going to try and nullify it? Uh, yes, go on. I'm That's feeling great. lucky. Now, because of your stones, you can reroll one of those dice. I'm going to do that one. Yep. No, no. Nope. Oh, it managed to get. I think you should just stop wasting points on rerolls. Three. No, no, that's an ability. That's the spirit stones. So, three of those guys go down. Awesome. And then I'm going to use Psychic Scourge on the same unit. Block charge value of six. I managed to cast it with seven. So, we basically roll a d6 and add each other's leadership to the score. If. If it's equal, you suffer one mortal wound. If mine's higher, uh, you suffer no, D3 mortal wounds. So, what's your leadership on those guys? Eight? Yes. I think mine's a nine. Either way, you've lost. Yeah. <laughs> and it's D3. D3 mortal wounds, another one. Do you know what? I'll command point that. Psychic fair. Oh, still one. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually seven, so... All oh, right, well, well, that's fine. So at least they go down one man. So we've lost four this turn. Right, let's crack open some shooting. Right, Venerable Dreadnought is going to open fire into the Dire Avengers. Needing freeze because he's moved. Rerolling ones because of proximity to Captain. It's all hit. Uh, strength of six versus toughness of three. We're going to need some twos here. Wow, that's six wounds. It is a minus one from the dread. So he loses. One, two, three more. Uh, four, four more. Four, because it's minus one. Oof. Yeah. I don't know if Eldar did very well in Zone Mortal. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, two of these guys can't see, so it's just going to be these two firing bolt rifles into them. It's going to be four shots at the range. Hitting freeze, you're rolling ones. Only two hits. I need freeze. I got two. Now, I have to take these separately because his is going to be five plus save, but his is going to be a four up invulnerable save. So him first. So he saves, and then it'd be him again. And he saves oh. again, so he saves both. Damn it. Right. Uh, Captain, then. I think he's going to have to have a go with his bolter. He's within 12. So two shots. Mero ones. Freeze to wound. Only one. So again, it'll be... And he saves again! <laughs> <coughs> They're definitely hiding behind the corpses of their fallen. <laughs> <laughs> of which there are many. <laughs> okay, the Reavers are going to open fire with their bolt uh, pistols. I don't know what they're called. The special bolt pistols with minus. They're going to be firing at the guys behind cover. Uh, needing freeze to hit. No rerolls, no proximities with these guys here. Only the thing close is a librarian. 
one wound. It's a five, and it's a save again. A flurry of sixes coming out from uh, Grange here. Right, uh, these guys then, what can they see? Right, so these two are going to have to shoot those guys, uh, the Dire Avengers. These three can shoot the Fire Dragons. So, the two guys shooting at the Dire Avengers. I am within six. I need freeze. I am within six of a Lieutenant. So that's going to be... Right, so you need to do, again, one at a time. Uh, first off is five. Saved. saved. No, saved. so the normal guy goes down. This then goes onto his X shot, which is a four... Plus invulnerable save on those guys. And then the three. It's going to be six shots into the fire dragons. Again, re rolling the ones. That's a two. I need a freeze. Re rolling the ones. So that's going to be four saves of four plus on those guys. Oh my god! That was bad. Careful, I heard a clink of metal. These are old school figures. <laughs> I don't I don't want chipping to occur. Right, um, we're gonna go now into some assault phases. Right, let's see what I can, I'm gonna do some charges and we'll come back, show you some results. Right, so we've got a combat going on here. Those guys, Reavers have managed to move in there, but I did lose two on the way in. Some good shooting there from the Dire Avengers. And the uh, Autark has swooped in to try and save his men. I've only got four that can fight out of this. So that's two, four, six, eight, and one of them is the sergeant, and he gets an extra attack. So I need freeze, followed by freeze. I'm not within six inches of my captain or lieutenant, so I get no rerolls this time. I've got three wounds against the fire dragons. They've got three plus armor, they have saved them all. Right, are you wanting me to continue on down here, or do you want to interrupt? Ooh. I'm going to interrupt. I'm going to interrupt with the Dire Avengers. With the Dire Avengers. Not a problem. So, interruption happening. Seven normal guys coming in, needing threes and then fives. He's got two wounds. I'll save both, and then he's got his Autark with his Dire Sword. Two hits. Again, he's going to need fives to wound. Ah, right, that would have been a minus of three as well. Oh, not even more. Right, Reaver's fighting back then. Again, there's a sergeant in there. It's two attacks apiece plus one for the weapons. So they've got three attacks and the sergeant's got four. So, needing threes and then threes. Oh, that was terrible. So, four wounds. Yeah. That's four dead. Yeah. That was a bad roll there, Grange. 50-50 chance, at least half of them should have survived. That's not looking good for the Dire Avengers. Then I get to consolidate three inch and move up. There we are. Uh, it's Fire Dragon's fought, because I've fought with this one down here, yeah. haven't I? Right, so the Fire Dragon's now got a chance to fight. Uh, you've got That's an extra it. attack, by the way, because it's all attack. attack. So, all hit, needing fives. Got a wound. wound. Got a wound. That squad's not wounded yet, so there's one wound on them. Put it on the guy in the back. Yep. And then, it'll be your all attack. Four attacks from the uh, all attack, needing twos, we all in ones. <coughs> not bad. And then, your strength... Hang on, doesn't he also have Mandy Blasters? He does, yes. Well, we'll do that in a minute. We should have done that right at the beginning, but we'll do that in a minute. Uh, one wound with a minus of three. Yep. Oh, so that's going to be oh, so. sixes. So that's going to take a Marine out, but he's also got his Mandy Blasters. So, oh. And that's another mortal wound as well, I believe. I'll yep. double check that. Yep, definitely a mortal wound. So I've lost a primary aspirin and wounded another. Right, um, morale tests then. How many did they lose? Three. They lost three. So it's up to you if you want to auto. I'm going to auto pass these for two. You can auto pass the fire dragons for two. Yeah. No problem. That's going to knock you down to three command points left. And then well, he's that? lost five. His leadership is eight. He's going. He's going. He's disappearing. Their leadership is seven and they've lost four. Right. 
Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They've lost another three. Jesus. These guys don't want to be here. Uh, Have you picked up three? No, no I didn't. <laughs> and then those guys lost four. Leadership of eight. That was me. They're okay. They're all fine. They are all right. They're not, uh, they're not put off by the death surrounding them. Right. So I'll take that counter off. We're now going to go into Eldar. Well, I get two victory points. So that would mean that the victory point now comes over to me. So I'm one ahead. And we're now going to go into Eldar turn two. Right, so we got uh, <laughs> Scorpions coming down here trying to take hold of his objective. Grandras coming round the corner of the corridor as well, making sure we're not within line. Well, some of them will be in line of sight, but... There'll not be a lot of overwatch shots from these scouts. Um, Farsi are now going to cast some powers. Those guys have fallen back out of combat. I've got a funny feeling he's going to be spending some command points to shoot. But we've got some psychic shenanigans going on. What are we doing first then, sir? We'll start off with smite. Smite. That's going to hit my librarian. So nine. Librarian's going to try and stop him. He does! Oh, sweet Psychic one. might! Right, and then we'll go for, I think it was Executioner. Executioner. That's definitely passed. You right. needed that for your uh, smite. Yeah, really. that would have been nice. <laughs> so it's D3 mortal wounds on the librarian. One mortal wound. So the librarian is now down to three. It's uh, not going well for Grange. Yeah, this is, this is turning into a sterling. <laughs> <laughs> right then, sir, are you shooting anything? Oh, many things, hopefully. I'm guessing you're doing feigned retreat on feigned those. Feigned retreat with these guys, taking me down to points. one. Yep. Uh, so, so that they means you can have fire. fire. I'll start, may as well start with those guys. Yep. So that's four shots. <laughs> Reroll ones. Sorry. They were misses. They, they were misses, yeah. Two hits. Two hits. He's just a bastard, didn't he? Oh, my God. So that's at least one dead. <sighs> I got one wee wound on. I do. <laughs> that's one dead, because I can't save it. Oh, uh, right. And then the <laughs> attack will fire is fusion pistol. Fusion there, pistol. Hits. Wounds. Mm. D6. Uh, two D6, actually. I'm put the highest, because you're within three inches. Three. three. So that will kill another Primaris Marine. And then the yeah. Guardians are going to fire into your... Uh... Yeah, we are doing it because, of course, these are solid walls. Even though it says these might be closer, we're not. We're just going to ignore that. It's just going to be the nearest visible enemy unit because, of course, it's all mortalis. That's going to be six shots, two hits. God, these guys don't... Uh, they've given up hope, haven't they? Yes. They've given up hope well before nine, aren't Oh, they? my God. Nothing at all. They really have given up hope in this one. Uh, singing Sabir. Yep. That's a hit. Twos regardless. Always to wound. Armour free. I have saved. Uh, Shuriken pistol. Yep. Missed. And I think that's it. <laughs> Some charges then. Yes. Now, if you charge with these guys, I actually don't think... I can see. No, I can't. So they will be able to charge. And I don't think I can see Karandras neither. Actually, I can see Karandras with the sergeant and the heavy bolter. So Karandras would suffer some overwatch fire, but these guys wouldn't. Right, we'll start with the scorpions then. Eh? Scorpions going first. They've got a six. They need a nine because of deep strike. We'll get rid of the last one of those. Oh. No. No. Karandras needs a nine. We'll do his. No. No. Heavy bolter at Karandras. Ate him once, and I wound him, and he saved. Well, it's going well. Yep, <laughs> it's going very well. Oh dear. Uh, right. <laughs> Only combat's down here. I may as well have a swing. Well, yeah, I can't interrupt. I'll go there. So, uh, attack for uh, exact first. Exact first. Two hits. Ah, oh, right. Wound. Now that is a mortal wound and a normal wound with a minus of three, which I do save. But a mortal wound, I believe one of these is still wounded. So the mortal wound will kill one of the guys, and then there's three guys left. 
One hit. hit. And no. doesn't wound. So the sergeant has four attacks. The normal marine has three. I might as well do a fight back there. Needing freeze. So one fail. Needing. Oh, only two. That combat might go on for a while. One down. So I lost one each there. Mm -hmm. That combat looks like it's going to end in some form of stalemate by the looks of that. That's it, mate. <laughs> but these guys are away from a lot of my firepower. Crandross might not be. Uh, <laughs> I have to have a bit of a shooting gallery at Kurandras there. Um, but yeah, we're going to go now into Crimson Fist turn two. So a quick synopsis, quick synopsis. Yeah, I'll get it right. He moved forward. I've actually done my psychic phase already. Cast Smite and done two mortal wounds against him. And he's cast Might of Heroes on himself. Uh, these sort of jimmied so we could see Kurandras. I fired a Hellfire shell. I managed to wound Karandras three times, but the bolters just pinged off his armour. And all this lot of peers ran. Um, they're trying to get that objective as quick as I possibly can, because I am aware that this is only five turns to this actual game. So, these two intercessors are going to fire now into the uh, fire dragons. That's going to be four hits. And that's four wounds with a minus of one. That's two gone down. That's still not, it's not enough to force them to take a break test because, of course, their leadership is going to be eight. Now, I don't think any of these guys have got a line of sight to anything. So the Dreadnought has line of sight to those guardians down there. I'm going to try and turn them into pulp. Uh, Reroll ones. I do need threes because I moved. I am within six of my captain and my lieutenant. Needing twos, revealing ones. That's five wounds of a minus one on the guardians. I'll go get them. <laughs> Only just. <laughs> Only just. I forgot to mention Scout's gone into corner. He's like, ah, oh, I'm not going to even bother partaking. Uh, I'll carry me injuries with me. Uh, right. So we're going to go into some assault shenanigans. Don't want to abandon that objective because I've got a funny feeling I'm going to lose that one down here, but I need to try and push to claim that one off there. I should be able to hold the centre. Because each objective is worth three victory points at the end of turn five as well. So even though we're getting one per turn for them. Right, so uh, let's do some charging. We'll do that off camera and we'll show you some results. Right, so these guys have charged both the Otak and the Fire Dragons, and the Librarian over there has charged the Farsi. So we're going to have a showdown between the Psychic Knights. So five attacks from here, I'm going to put them into the Fire Dragons. I want to get rid of those guys. I only hit two. Well done, lads. Uh, two wounds, though. Two free ups. No, so he loses one, and the, Ot and the X Shark in the squad takes a wound. So I've got some little counters. There you go. I'm sorry. Thankfully, that's a fine cast model. And then going to the librarian, and I forgot any stats. Text on profile, uh, plus one for the might of heroes. So I need freeze to hit. So he's hit with them all. Now he's got a stave, which pluses two to his strength, making it six. Might heroes pluses another one, making it seven. So he needs twos to wound. So he wounds three times. Now there is a minus one on the stave, but he's a Farsi, a Baroon armor, so it's four up invulnerable. Oh, two's gone through. It's D3 damage apiece. If I roll a double one here, then I'm buggered. Nah. I didn't. I rolled three, which is just enough to take the Farseer out. And then a free and consolidation to the nearest enemy unit, which I'll not do because it's Grandress. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that. Uh, and then I pick a squad that's already in combat, which is the only one is them Reavers. So them Reavers have got one Reaver left plus the Sergeant. And they'll fight the remaining Die Revengers. Needing freeze. And ooh, four wounds that time. Needing fours. And that's three wounds, I think. Because no, nope, the X Shot will still the yeah, X Shot will still be alive with one wound left. It's alright, but oh, Right, X Shot fighting back. 
Two hits. The five is... Oh, it's a six! Hits. So it does a mortal wound plus another wound. It takes one out. <laughs> and Reavers haven't done a lot. So you can... Do you want to consolidate yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Might sure. as well keep on swinging. Into the sergeant. They're murdering each other down there. They should have mullered him, but they haven't. Right, these guys up here then, so which one first? Fire Dragon first. Fire Dragon next shot. Two hits. No wounds, and then your lord. Four attacks, twos with rerolls. So that's all hit. No None. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Right, so that's the end of uh, my turn two. I should really move the dice over. Uh, at the end of Granger's turn, there was no victory points to anybody because he managed to claim one for that, which had knocked it back down to zero. And then I claim two. So at the moment, that will put me two up. Right, into Granger's turn three. So the these guys have shifted up. Trying to keep out of line of sight to be able to charge. He's just most of all brazen. <laughs> um, Die Revenge has stayed locked in combat. These guys have stayed locked in combat. So not much in the way of shooting going on apart from a pistol from both of those guys. Which one do you want to do first? The uh, Shuriken pistol. Shuriken over there. pistol. Hits and doesn't wound. And then the Inferno pistol from here. We all ones. Just a shooting attack. Well, any attack. Oh my oh, god! Oh sweet lord, come on. Alright, like Karandras. Oh, yeah, I can't remember what weapon he's got actually. It's a, Check. It's a... Scorpion's Claw is Assault 2. Two hits. Uh, no wounds. No wounds, because no the toughness 4. Right. Right, so we're going to get some charging then. No need to charge over here, they're already in combat. No need to charge there, they're already in combat. But here! Scorpions are going to have a go first. Can't shoot them because I can't see them. Three inch, uh, they're still going to be in because there's at least two inch there to be honest. Yeah. So we'll move those, and I'm guessing Karandras is going in, in, and he's going to go in a mighty ten. ten. Right, okay. So charging going on, just these guys piling into here. Karandras going in as well. We've got eight Mandy Blasters coming in. That's at the start of the actual combat. That's two, two. mortal wounds. That's going to be two of these guys gone. Um, and then, well, I mean, he's already done his freeze consolidation, which will probably limit the amount of attacks he's going to have here. Um, Karandras' Mandy Blasters are 4+. Five, is it? Sure. I'm going to try and, I'm gonna try and get away from this. Right, so he's dead. Yeah. Right, so it's going to be... Well, I've already moved these guys 3 inch in. Yeah. So we're going to get, because of the Mandy Blasters now, it's going to be three uh, Scorpions. Three Scorpions. Threes and then fours. Is that all of them? Relaxing. Three. Three wounds, mate. And I saved them all. That's not good, because it means that Grandress now can barrel in three inch, get within an inch of that sergeant, because we're going to kill the sergeant, <laughs> <laughs> and try and deny that, and fight. Right then, the four attacks. Yep. Three hits. And that's just dead, isn't it? It's minus at least three. Minus three, mate. Yep, so he manages to kill all of the scouts. So the scouts in that corner have gone. I may have to wave my dreadnought down there. Right, so existing combats, you get to select one first. Um, let's start over here. Okay, two attacks. Both hits. Two hits. Need that to wound. He needs that to wound. In fact, he's got a, right, I need a six to survive. No, he kills the sergeant because it's a mortal wound and a normal wound. He goes, he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> that I am stunned about. Genuinely quite stunned. Oh man. Dire sword coming in for the win. Uh, right, I get to fight now. 
because I get to select a unit, so I'm going to select these guys. Uh, well, three against the Autark, and I am now within... Where's my captain? He's there. Am I within six? Yes. So I do get to reroll that one. That's three hits. And two wounds against the Autark, because he's only toughness three. It's saved. And then two attacks against the Fire Dragon X-Shirt with one wound left, rerolling ones. Three to wound. One wound. Oh. Right. Attacks back with both if you want, but uh, yeah, I'm guessing him first. He's going to go first. So that's four attacks. Yep. All hit. One wound. One wound, which is a minus of three. And I didn't save, so that's one wound on those guys. And then the fire dragon. Fire dragon. Two, Two hits. hits. Two, Two wounds. wounds. Christ. And he takes him out. So we're down to the sergeant left, out of the intercessors. Ooh. My first marines are all right until they start dying. <laughs> Mandy Blaster as well. Forgot oh, yeah. yeah. Forgot Mandy Blaster. Oh, I forgot to say. <laughs> so that is going to be at least a wound on him. Right. Damn it. Right, okay. So, not a bad round, actually, from you there. Yeah. Yeah, um, managed to claim two objectives now. So that's going to knock that back down to zero. So I'm going to have to try and uh, pull one out the bag. I think that dreadnought maybe uh, and librarian might be making a visit to somebody. Somebody called Scorpions, you know. <laughs> of all, that Die Revenger is alive and he might try and. Mm. Oh, what am I going to do? I don't know. Right, okay. Going to Marines, turn three. Coming into my turn three, Psychic first then. So it's going to be a smite against him, with one wound left. It's a six, it's going to be at least one. So that Dire Avenger, heroically killing off the Reavers, has uh, been killed by mind bullets. Pistol from him into the Fire Dragons. Hits and wounds. Standard armor. Yep. Saves. Oh yeah, end at movement, he gets recovered by the Apothecary. These guys can't see anything, I'm going to try and do a charge, but this guy here, he's uh, trudging down with his heavy flamer and his uh, assault cannon. He's going to fire onto the scorpions, because he can't see Crandras, so I can't target him. So I need threes, not within six of anyone for re-rolls, and I need twos. That's going to be four saves with a minus of one. Lost two of the scorpions. Uh, be a very, very long charge. Problem is, is that that dreadnought, as we discussed this earlier, can't get through small corridors. So, all it really is is going to be a fire support unit. I think we'll have to try and get that Libby in there, to be honest. Right. Now, here comes the charging. These guys. I'm going to try and charge these guys. What do I roll? I'm going to command point that one. Down to three. I've got nine. So I do think that these guys are going to get in. So we have measured it. He's in. Right, so. And the apothecary down here has charged into the fire dragon. So I'm going to do that unit first over there. Grange hasn't got any, oh, he's got two command points no, left. No, no, so no, no, that's gone. That's gone? That's gone. Oh, sorry. So he's got no command points left. So they're going to attack. It's going to be three for the sergeant and two for each lad surviving. Got lots of clutter here. Need threes. Needing threes. Oh my God, one. That was terrible. Oh, well, it kills one. <laughs> Kills a man, and then I get to select a unit. Uh, well, no, it's a profit carry next, which is going to be two attacks, two hits, and two wounds on the fire dragon. No minuses. Oh, fuck, right, then I get to pick a unit, which will be the intercessor marine. Three attacks against the attack. I am within six to reject of the captain. Three hits. And I am within six of a lieutenant. 
So that's three wounds. It is a, I believe it's a two or three plus armor, but it don't matter because that's a one. So he's going to at least <laughs> suffer <laughs> one wound, and I think he's got four left. All right, you get a chance to fight back, sir. Right, fire dragon first. He's going to be hitting the intercessor. Yep. Two hits. Right. One wound. And he's wounded. So the intercessor's down to one wound. Mandy blasts. Oh, yeah, which we forgot. No. no, thank God. <laughs> Reroll your ones. And then, yep, so that's all hit. Fives and sixes. Two sixes. Two sixes. I need two sixes. Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! So is the intercessors alive? Oh my God. Right, now, at the end of the phase, I'm going to use my last three command points. To let them marines over there fight again. Because they did absolutely terrible. So I've got my dice. And they're still doing terrible. They're exhausted of running in that heavy armour. Three wounds this time. Two more. Two more. Which will make them down by three. They haven't actually fought. I completely forgot about that. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> yeah, so they get the fight. Uh, the, the two full compliments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Three, six, nine. They've hit. Yeah. Mini mm fives. -hmm. Four. Four. That Four. might actually mean that I lost a marine. <coughs> no, no. No, no. Maybe not. <laughs> right. So break test on those guys. I lost three. Six. six. They're yeah. okay. They're good. And then they only lost two, so they're good as well. Hmm. This is going to be quite harsh here. That one's now contested. That one's under your control, so I've only got one. So I do manage to go up one victory point. So I'm one victory point ahead at this moment in time. So now it's going to be on to Elvar, turn four. Okay. So in a surprise twist, Grandras and the Fire Dragons are running, sorry, Fire Dragons, Scorpions, Scorpions are running out here to try dragons. and <laughs> take on the, uh, the Dreadnought. Um, shooting phase is going to fire his Infernal pistol. pistol. Try a Fusion Pistol. Hits. Hits. Wounds. Um, 2d6 damage is minus 4. It kills him. He's dead. <laughs> Finally. Finally dead. That apothecary might get charged, I think. Yes. Uh, what are these guys doing? Uh, right, any pistols that are in range are going to fire into the scout. That's all of them. Right. Um, it's crew and in there as well. Just measure it up value there, mate. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Of he is. Right, so... <coughs> I'll fire crew and first. Yep, two shots. <coughs> two hits. One wound. Four plus armor is saved. And then then it will be five, six. Is it six? Well it's five guys plus another strike plus another scorpion's claw. Right. So it'll be seven shots. Seven shot total. Now you've got eight eighteen, haven't you? Yeah. It's a freeze. Oh dear. So there you go. And then you need yeah. You, what you're looking for is a Unfortunately, it's a six. Yeah. I can't save the six, so the scout sergeant dies. And then charges. And then charging, I'm guessing. These idiots are going to try and charge <laughs> yeah. a heavy flame wielding assault cannon in Dreadnought. Yeah. No problem. Right. <laughs> I think you figure out. I'm so not very, I'm not the sure scorpions have charged in, you and Grandras like has managed to yeah. go around the back. Um, he's charged into the um, apothecary now. So we've got multiple charges from you guys with combats and no command points for each of us. So, which one are you going to go with first? I go, well, Mandy Blasters first. Mandy Blasters from him. He wound causes again. a mortal wound against the uh, Apothecary. I'll find out how many wounds he's got. Mandy yeah. Blasters from Karandras. I think he is five, five, five or six. six. Yeah. No. No. And then another four from the other, uh, from the other Scorpions. No. No. Oh, one. One, one. one. So one mortal wound on the dread. The dread of being a venerable ignores it on a six. No. So he's going to now be down to seven wounds. So which one are you going to go with first? I'm going to go with the Otak 
Onto the apothecary. Old Turk, onto the apothecary. Let's find out how many wounds the apothecary has actually got. Hit with four, because yeah. we forgot to he rolled them before I started recording. And he needs fives to wound. Uh, trying to pass blame on Two. Two. Then. Needing sixes to save. He has five wounds in total. Uh, he saved one, so he's now down to the apothecary. He's now down to three remaining. Um, I'm guessing Karandras is going next. Yeah. So, four attack needing twos. Um, and then I believe his strength is four, so it should double it to eight. Yeah, but there's another rule that I don't know about. Death of okay. a thousand stings. Okay. <laughs> so if Grandra strikes with a six, or any striking scorpion in within six also strikes with a six, it gets another attack. So go ahead, sir. <coughs> so I'm guessing these additional attacks don't, don't generate it. Yeah. So his strength eight, he's going to need freeze. He's got three of them. What's Karandras's power fist? Uh, it is a minus three. And D3 damage? D3 damage, my guess. So, the Dread is going to need sixes. I don't get any. And it's 3D3. So that's four wounds. Stops one, so he suffers three. That means he's going to be down five. He's going to be down four. So these guys are going to now shimmy in. This is going to work. And then there's another fist, and there's three guys. So, I think it's three for the other fist as well. Yeah. So these are three. Fists. Yeah. Another That's, six. Yeah, another so. six. So it explodes into an extra shot attack. I think he's got something as well. Let's check the extra shot for the scorpion. He has the same thing, but it's just for him. So it's just two hits with the power fist. Now this one's only a strength six power fist, so he's going to need fives and sixes to wound. Wounds with one. Again, it's a minus of three. Fail it, D3 damage, three. Not saved one, the Dreadnought is down to one wound. He has. <laughs> they've got three guys left. I think they've got three attacks apiece, actually, mate. Gorgage. I think they're two attacks profile, yeah. plus one for the Ch bl chain blades. Chain oh, no, don't do it for they don't, yeah. because it's plus one strength. Yeah. So it's three to hit. Explode another two. Yep, yeah, because of Karandras' rule. Wow. That's, that's why you take scorpions with Karandras. Needing fives and sixes. One. One. <laughs> one. You notice you picked up the natural one. To yeah. I five. did, I did. Yay! So he survived. I think you might try and butcher Karandras now. Yeah. <laughs> but you get to pick a unit that's already in combat to fight, which is going to be the Guardians down, down there. there. Pick Grand Draft. <laughs> if only I could. Yeah. They're not bad. Five hits, needing five to wound. Two, Two wounds. wounds. And one save, one wounded. Just put one of those on the guy at one of the guys at the back for me. So I now get to pick a unit, which I'm now gonna I'm gonna pick the apothecary. Because if I don't pick the apothecary, he's actually got three attacks. You're gonna pick him to fight, and then you might wound the apothecary. So he's gonna fight the fire dragon. Three hits, in freeze, two wounds. Fire dragon goes down. Because he did already have one wound on him. Boom. Right. So next then, I'm going to have a Dread. He's going to have two attacks against Karandras and two attacks against the Scorpion. So two attacks against Karandras needing twos to hit, one hit. Needing twos to wound. Sorry, cocked. He's wounded. It's a minus of three. So Karandras has a save of five plus. Ah, I've declared <laughs> it as well now. God damn it. Two attacks against the Scorpions, one hit. One wound, scorpion save on a six. No. no. So one of the scorpions goes down. So he has lost three scorpions <coughs> this round. <coughs> so that morale might be quite uh, harsh. So go on then, sir. Uh, do morale. Oh no, I've got to do those yeah, guys over this. there. One, two, three marines, plus the sergeant with four attacks. Oh, that's a lot better. Than that previous. I need freeze to wound. Never wounded four five times. So five saves from Grange. Mm, two more. Two more gone down. Only two. God damn it. And how many guys is there? How many uh, Eldars left? Five. 
So they're still holding that objective. So, well, there is at the moment break test. Please, chaps. Yeah, they're, they're okay. Fine. Break Scorpions. test for the Scorpions. They lost three. Yep, yeah. they're okay as well. Right, so Grange actually scores Nothing. A VP. You score that one. Oh, right. Because yeah. that one, you have got more figures. We're both troop choices, and you have more figures than I have. So you actually knocked me down again to zero points. This is getting intense and crazy. Uh, very intense and very crazy. Right. <laughs> Cripes. <laughs> I think my banner bear is going to have to run down that way. Right. Crimson Fist, turn four. Right. <laughs> So, I've fallen back, been a very big coward with my dread. There's one wound left, so he's pinned over there. Cowardice. Captain's coming round to try and take on Karandras, and the librarian is as well. Hang on, hang uh, on. Librarians should only have three wounds left, actually. I thought Space Marines were supposed to know no fear, and you're running away. Uh, no, he knows when his, uh, he knows when his hull's about to be ruptured. <laughs> running away. <laughs> he's not got fear. A uh, couple of pistols that bastard. needs, needs uh, doing. I wish you wouldn't swear. Right. <laughs> Smite first stamp. I've got an eight. So D3 mortal wounds on that squad. It's one mortal wound, so that'll be a scorpion down, unless you want to take the wound on your... I'm going to take it onto the... Uh... Are you sure? Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to cast... <laughs> My sure. Psychic Scourge. He's sure in all his decisions. So that's, that's passed on a six. Yeah. So your leadership is eight. Yeah. Mine is nine. So D6 plus... So I've got a three. And you've got a one, so that's D3 mortal wounds on that squad again. That's another one, and because it's on... Yep, it's going to have to be him. And then he's going to fire his bolter at the remaining two. Psychic phase is done. Two hits. And one wound with a minus of one. Saved. Yep, and then bolt pistol. Missed. He's going to fire his pistol in combat, and I believe it's called an absolver or a reductor. Yeah, reductor pistol. It's a strength four, minus three, and two damage. Mm. He needs threes to hit, and he misses. <laughs> four bolt pistols from the guys stuck in combat over there. They all hit. And three wounds. No minuses, though. He does lose two, so that objective, regardless, unless he does a flurry of attacks and manages to kill loads and loads of marines, it's pretty much going to be mine. Right, let's get some charging done. Right, lots of charging going off down here. So, we're going to start with him on the scorpions. We need freeze. He's hit with all of them. His strength is six because of his stage, so he needs twos. So, two wounds with a minus of one. And he actually kills both of them. Yep. <laughs> I think Chris just... <laughs> Just despaired then, didn't you, mate? Not really. And then with the Fist of Vengeance against Karandras. Two's to hit with rerolls on one. It's double toughness of Karandras, so that's two's to wound. And it's a minus of three. So Karandras is going to end it straight three damage as well. So I need three sixes. Yeah. Well, no, four, sixes. four sixes. Four, five. No, you need four five pluses. Oh, it's easily done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Karandras then goes down. Then, of course, the Lieutenant, which I can't remember his stat. Four attacks from the Lieutenant needing twos. I'll hit. I need threes to wound. Reroll ones. <laughs> Three ones there. It's a good job he's his own, uh, within six inches of his own self. So it's going to be four up in vulnerables. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you can save him. You can't save Grundras. <laughs> and then I have to pick a guy. I'm going to pick the Marines down there. So that's Sergeant, and then three Marines. Again, not doing that well. Three wounds. Kills two. And then you get to pick a guy. I'm guessing you're picking this bloke here. Yep. Um, so you're going to go against... Well, you can't kill any of them. So, <laughs> I'll try and kill you with pocket. Both are great. No problem. Two's to hit me, roll ones. Yep. And then fives. Two. I think that's why a lot of people take Burning Blade with all that. Mm. That reroll. 
Saved one, one wound. I think it even causes D3 damage, actually. Um, you blast in my turn, you No, you didn't Mandy Blast. No, you didn't do any Mandy Blast. No. No, and actually, you need to do some Mandy Blasters over here, because we forgot. Right. So two Mandy Blasters against the uh, thing. No, no, and then one against the captain. No. no. So that didn't even go down that well at all there. Yep. Yeah. Right, at oh, the end of it. I've got one attack here. You've got one attack there. Attack oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. I hope it kills that. We've wounded you. Go on. Go on. Oh. If you would have done on a free plus, you would have fought one last time before yeah, going there. Because <laughs> of banner. So you could have from failed from tabling. I did, but. Um, if it had killed. If it had voluntarily failed that save to kill him. But. He's still alive. Yeah, you screwed up with your lieutenant, didn't you? Lieutenant didn't manage to kill that guy at all. Cool, all right then. Uh, yeah, I think I think the Marines have managed to win the day. It was a it was a good game, that actually, right towards the end. Uh, Grange managed to make a good comeback on that one. Awesome. All right, well, more, more luck than judgment. More luck yeah. than judgment. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button for more. Uh, I do have a Patreon, that's a patreon.com forward slash Roostem Gaming. Twitter's Roostem Multimedia, Facebook is Roostem Multimedia. T shirts are available at Teespring, just type it in the search Roostem Gaming at the search bar. Right, guys, thanks very much for watching. Comment if you wanted to see any particular armies or game types, um, and then I'll try and accommodate you guys if I can. But thanks for watching, see you next time.